Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret Agent for DOS. In the last video, we completed Episode 2, Kill Again Island, and now we are playing Episode 3, Dr. Nobody. We got through the first two episodes, but here's to looking what the third and final episode of the original version of Secret Agent is going to throw at us. And there's that screen one final time. And here's the title screen, which is the same as ever. Not really much of a change here. Let's go ahead and look at the story and see what's changed. All that's really changed is page two. 006 has destroyed the DVS headquarters on the first and second island fortresses and secured possession of two crucial blueprints. Using scuba gear, 006 slipped past the security net set up around the final island. Getting the final blueprint will be the most dangerous assignment yet, since this island id the DVS stronghold. Apparently they did not proofread the word id, it should be is. The rest of the story part of the main menu is unchanged. It's the same as it is in missions or episodes 1 and 2. So, let's go ahead and start a new game. And here we are in this little corner of the map. We are in the upper right, the north east corner of the map and we're gonna have to work our way south and then work our way around if you want to get anywhere we have probably what 16 or 20 places to go maybe 16 just like in episodes 1 and 2 and we're gonna start with this one and as soon really as soon as we start we need to shoot this thing down and we need to be careful with our bullets And we can just walk off the edge here to get that money back. Now, to get the bullets there, because I'm going to need them. And now we're slowly going to make our way up and get some items. If I could jump there, that'd be great. Alright, now we need to get that red key to open the red door that we've just seen. And we need to jump over the dogs as we get these bullets and leave we don't need to shoot down the dogs because we're not coming back here so why bother you want to be very careful with your bullets especially if you start in this particular level at the start because you do not have a lot of bullets and bullets will be a bit scarce as you go through here I don't know why that took me three attempts to get into that little hallway there, but well, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that guy twice so that way he can't shoot back. And then we need to make, make our way over to here and be careful about the whole endeavor. I want to shoot that down and this guy down too. And we want to be careful about the... Ah, that was right there, too. I'm missing all these falling money bags. We want to watch out for the spikes as we move this thing around. The push barrels are now gold in Episode 3. Very interesting. And let's go ahead and grab the red key. The red door is right up there. And we want to be careful as we get the blue key and the green key. Especially when, one, there's the turret and this machine that will try to fry us. And two, there's another falling money bag, which I was able to get this time around. Now it's time to be careful as we do a thing. This is going to be the hardest part just because of how this is going to be done. What you need to do there is get to the push barrel and gently tap left. You don't want to push the push barrel too far to the left because if you do you can't get that dynamite. And if you can't 
touch the edge of the dynamite, you're going to touch the spikes down there instead, and you're going to die, and you're going to do all this over. As for the green key, we need to use that for the disc. And if I could do that, that'd be great. Okay. Moment of truth. Laser field has been deactivated. Okay. All right, we got out of here. Mostly unscathed, save for that ceiling laser at the beginning. Now we just need to get to... No, wait, we still need to get to the laser area. We still have yet to go down there and do things, which is what I'm going to do. And, of course, that's down there. And I want to look around. Okay, there's some bullets. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Use the push barrel over here to get back. And we need to get back to the start because that's where the exit is. Can I do it? There we go. If I messed that up, I would have landed the spikes below, and that would have been would not have been fun for anyone. Let us blow this door up and get out of here. No bonus, but that doesn't really matter to me. And now we have blown this area wide open. Well, we could have skipped that level, but, well, I wanted to get that out of the way anyway, because it's one of the hardest ones in Episode 3. Time to do this one. Okay. I don't want to go down there yet. As much as I would like to. Please don't shoot me. I'm going to shoot you. What do you... Okay, you just lead to two doors. And I know that things are going to go wrong, maybe. Well, something went wrong. Obviously. But I don't think that's... Yeah, that's not where I was supposed to go. Because I can't leap from there. So we're going to have to try this again. And this time we're going to go to the left when we drop. So that way... Really? Really? I am now taking hits when I should not be taking hits. Oh, come on. I am wasting ammo here. Let's try this again. All these deaths, either because I am not happy with how things are going, or because of something that's my fault or something I didn't see happening. Let's grab the red key and this time hold left. There we go. Now we just need to avoid being zapped by this thing, whatever it may be. All right, we can wait over here. And we can get to this teleporter. Are you kidding me? Well, we can get the S. But I still don't want to go down here, though. But at least I can get over the... Uh... No! Why is this a thing? Now I'm going to get shot. Now I'm dead because of terrible enemy placement. It would have hurt to not put a robot there. Episodes 1 and 2 I can deal with, but episode 3... Really? Stuff like this keeps happening, and I'm just not a fan of it. Please don't shoot me. Oh, thank heavens. Okay. No. Oh. 
All right. We got that done. Now let's see if we can do things here without getting ourselves killed. Which we can do. We need to unlock that. We need to unlock that and not fall in the water. I don't know how I made that jump. I don't know how I made that jump work, but I made it work. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that's done. One, two, three, one. Okay. Shoot you. And hopefully I can make the jump over to here, which I can. Deactivate the laser field. We made some progress. At last. Of course, I'm going to have to make that jump over the water one more time just to... <sighs> You can tell I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the, some of the things that this game does. But at least I can get some of these things done when it counts. Alright, get that over there. Alright. Yeah, you want to unlock the blue door to the right first once you reach that red sports car. Otherwise, you're going to mess things up a little bit, I think. All right. We need to get that key. And we only need to shoot down that dog. Are you kidding me? One, two, three. And I need to unlock that and get out of the way of this droid. Once again, the things that are here can be scarce. Also, why am I even going in this direction? I don't even need to go in that direction. Because there's nothing left for me here, and all I need to do is just use the teleporter to get back over here. But I still need the dynamite. Well... We can still do this. That's fine. I forgot all about the dynamite. I apologize. So I was mistaken. There is something here for me after all. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, there was nothing else for me here. I forgot where the dynamite was. It's in the one place I haven't been yet. And I'm going to have to use the teleporter to get to it. Oh, it's a good thing I got rid of that. That robot. Jump to the left here. And then we can drop down here. Get the dynamite. And then we're going to have to make that jump all over again. Okay. Let us teleport one more time. I hope I can make that jump. I really need to be able to make that jump. There we are. We made the jump. No bonus, but again, that doesn't exactly bother me. And I'm going to have to go all the way around just to get to that building, but... Well, while I'm at it, I might as well play this one. And hey, we are now outside. And we have things that we can get, but the dynamite is not one of them yet. I'm under the impression that we're going to need the x-ray specs that we've seen Whoa, in other levels in the first two episodes. Just to get to the dynamite that's there. And as much as I would like... Whoa. Okay, you shoot through the floor. But at least I can avoid all that. I hope. 
and I got hit. I was not fast enough. Okay. Now, we have the green key. Can we use a green key? No, we need a red one. Okay. This place right here. Well, there's the... Yes, I know the computer needs a floppy. I'm working on it. Okay. Where do you go? And I was trying not to run into that. And I land on you anyway because you open up right then and there at the right time. Uh, I am not liking this level or this episode very much at all. It's figuring things out, but... Again. It still feels like a bit of a gamble whether you're going to get hit or not sometimes. Or have something happen that you didn't expect to happen. About to say, when is the trip the uh, turret going to fire. Okay. And let us shoot at this one more time. Good, we got that done with less trouble than we had last time. All right. Let's get told that we need a floppy again. And let's get these bullets. Okay. I don't want to rush through this this time. There we go. And there's nothing else for us to get to. So, we need to go back up here. And we need to jump over the dog and get to the red door. There's not much here. Except for... Are you kidding me? Oh, you didn't jump. Yeah, gee, thanks, game. And now I'm taking terrible hits again because I'm just trying to rush through this. <sighs> this is the episode where things get a little bit harder. And I need you to fire so that way I can get into the blue door again. At least I can do that without much of an effort now. But this is still a pain in the butt to do. Okay. Let's drop down. Somehow managed to shoot that robot in the visor. And now we can go back. And we can do this a little more quickly. Although, it looks tempting. Uh, you're kidding. You can move over there. Uh, I am really not liking this level. At least I can avoid that, but still. And somehow that explosion hits the robot. And there is the blue door, but we don't have a blue key. However, if I can get over here, I can use it. Something tells me that if I were to get the, what is it, the uh, x-ray specs that let me see the invisible platforms, I could have an easier time getting to the satellite dish. I mean, that's my hypothesis anyway. 
Only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and deactivate the... What is it? The laser fields. Had to think about it for a second. We need to watch out for the spite because I do not feel like redoing any of this. And from here, we need to jump our way to the dynamite. The game had better give me invisible platforms. Otherwise, we are going to have a bat. You are not giving me anything, are you? Ah, uh, fun. And by fun, I mean no fun at all. Whew. Now, where is the... There it is. And there was some body armor that I didn't need. But we made it through this stage. And that was a pain to get through. Three levels, but they may have been th three of the hardest levels in the game. Let us go ahead and save in file zero. Good grief, that was a mess. But it was a mess that we were able to get through. And that is how episode three is starting, at least for me. Join me next time where we continue with more levels of episode 3 of Secret Agent. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!